and welcome to this episode of Cooking with MFRD. I'm your host, Ashley McDonald, and we've got a great show lined up for you today. First up, we're gonna make Nora's meatloaf. You're gonna need to grab the following ingredients. You're gonna need two eggs, three slices of wheat bread, a half a cup of chopped onion, half a cup of grated carrot, half a cup each of shredded cheddar and mozzarella cheese, one tablespoon of fresh minced parsley, one teaspoon of basil, one teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, a half a cup of milk, and one and a half pounds of ground chuck. So I'd like to welcome to the show Captain Nora Smith. She's gonna be walking us through her meatloaf recipe. Hi, Nora. Hi, Ashley, how you doing today? Good, thank you for joining us. Oh, not a problem. I hope that uh, everybody finds this meatloaf recipe as yummy as my crew does. I'm sure we will because Nora is an excellent cook and in fact she was on our pilot episode of Cooking with MFRD so we're so glad to have you back. Thank you. So what have we got going on in this bowl up here? All right I've already gone and put the two eggs, the half a cup of milk and the three slices of uh, bread in there so okay. that it could be mulling together before I added all the other ingredients. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to add my onion which I've pre-measured. It has my parsley, my basil and salt and pepper. So we're gonna drop that in there. We're gonna add the carrots, the cheese, which has all been pre-measured out. We're gonna mix that all together. While you do that, I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay. This is a pretty um, color scheme we've got going on here so oh, far with the green and orange. It's pretty yummy when we get it all done. So tell me about putting this shredded cheese in there. I don't think I've ever seen that in a meatloaf. Well, you don't really taste it, but it adds a little zing to it. It's, okay. It makes it really yummy. I'm, I'm not your favorite meatloaf fan, but I love this. Hmm. I'm interested to try this. All right, you've got that all mixed up for me. Now yes, I'm gonna add a pound and a half of ground chuck, but have to get in there with it to get everything <laughs> mixed up properly. So that's why I had to wash my hands first, but it makes it really yummy. Every good recipe is a hands-on recipe, right? Exactly. <laughs> or hands-in, rather. So you mix that really good so that all those flavors get molded together. So um, Nora is one of the main cooks on A Shift, or the main cook on A Shift up at our station one on Vine Street. And the guys just absolutely rave about her cooking. Um, you pretty much make three square meals almost a day sometimes, don't you? Sometimes, it's usually the weekends that we cook the most, but uh, oh, breakfast is a feast at our station. I've been there before, it's pretty good. That's their favorite. <laughs> All right, after we get it all mixed up, we're going to put it in our loaf pan. Okay. And you don't have to grease the pan or anything? No, no. But ground chuck has plenty. Okay. So after we get it in here, we're just going to smush it to fill up the pan. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cover it and put it in the oven, a 350 degree oven for approximately 45 minutes. Then we'll take it out and add our topping, and we'll put our topping together here pretty quick okay. after we put it in the oven. So Nora, you've been with us at the fire department for how long now? 23 years. Wow, that's awesome. Doesn't even look like she's been working for 23 years. Yeah, I've been there, and uh, it's been my favorite thing I've ever done in my life. It is a fabulous job. Although she can do several other things. Nora is kind of a superwoman. <laughs> All right, we have our meatloaf covered and we're going to head over here to the oven and put it in to cook for 45 minutes or so. As everyone knows, every meatloaf needs a good cheesy side dish. So we brought Kevin Matichek here. It's true. To show us how to make some cheesy potatoes. Right there. So you're going to need to grab the following ingredients. Six or seven peeled and sliced potatoes, one stick of real butter, 16 ounces of shredded Mexican blend cheese without the taco seasoning, and milk to cover. All right, so what we're going to do first is start off with our potatoes. We're going to peel them. If you want to get it done in advance, you can take your potatoes, potatoes, your potatoes. Two potatoes. You know, it's potato, potato, and potatoes. 
and soak them in water. And as long as you drain the water before you use it, cold water, you're gonna be just fine. So we did this earlier today. We just got one more potato left. Okay. And we wanna slice them about a little under a quarter inch thick. You and they're going into a nine by 13 pan, correct? That's right, they're gonna go okay. in a nine by 13 pan. You don't have to worry about buttering it, the sides, cause we're gonna add a lot of butter here in a second. Ooh, butter sounds really good. America. Yes. So Kevin is one of Nora's firefighters at her station. I am. I hear that you're also her replacement cook when she's out. It's it's not a good replacement. It's it's like a have to do in the meantime, and uh, the guys are ruthless. They uh, they expect Nora food, and I cannot produce Nora food. That stuff is too good. <laughs> so after we get our potatoes in there, we want to add some milk just to be able to cover them. So we'll add that right there, and we're just using one percent low fat milk right now. This makes it a lot healthier, right? Oh yeah, yeah. This this is what's really bringing up the health side to it, and then we add some healthy butter. It's real butter though. It is. So and real we, always sounds healthier. That's right. I'm going to use a full stick of butter. We're just going to bigger spots than that because it's all going to melt. Just don't it. chop your finger off, Kevin. I mean, we can't have like. This is true. I yes. In the potato. <laughs> all righty. Almost there. And so you've been with us for how long now? About six months now. I uh, started in the academy in the end of August and started working on shift the beginning of November. And you also went through the, um, and got your first responder training, so you're certified EMR I now. did, I, I certainly am, which is a really, really fun side of what we do because it's a lot of medical calls and it's, it's nice to be useful. That's the majority of things that we do actually is medical now. So. It really is. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Right. A little salt right there. That looks like a good amount to me. It is, it's perfect. I don't wanna brag, but it's perfect. <laughs> Sounded like a little bit of bragging. It was, it was a little bit, I, I won't lie. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna cover it with aluminum foil. Okay. And we've got a 350 degree oven ready, ready for it to go in. All right, we're gonna take these cheesy potatoes and we're gonna cook them at 350 degrees for one hour or until they are tender and soft on the inside. Put these right there. So Nora, this has been cooking in the oven for 45 minutes now. We're ready for the topping. That's right. We're gonna put it together. It's really simple. We're gonna use a half a cup of brown sugar. Okay. Gonna use a teaspoon of prepared mustard. It'll come out of there. So just your standard yellow mustard? Absolutely. Okay. And I like to add a little zing, so I add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I love trying to say Worcestershire sauce. That's a tough one right there. Put that in there, we're gonna mix it up good. Then we're gonna pour it over the top of our uh, meatloaf, put it back in the oven. We're gonna cook it 15 to 20 minutes or until the meat thermometer comes out at 160 degrees. Okay. Then you'll let it stand for 10 minutes before slicing it, eat and enjoy. And it smells good already. We'll just get that covered good. Cover it back up. Pop it back into the oven. And then let the magic happen. Yeah, TV magic. So Nora, I think that meatloaf should be about ready. Well, let me check and see. Let's go over here and see what we got. Mmm, it's smelling good. I can't wait to try it. Oh, it does smell good. Nora, this smells so good, I can hardly wait to try it. Well, let's see what we have. See how it came out. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. Looks mm. good. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna just get my plate right on up in here. All right. <laughs> Don't be stingy now. I won't. Oh, you want more than that, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 I'm sorry. You guys are all excited about your side dish here. I'm gonna bring in the real main star. Ah. That would be these cheesy potatoes. <laughs> well, thank you, Kevin. Now, about these, about 15 minutes ago, after they were kind of getting soft, we added 16 ounces of that mixed cheese, that mixed cheese oh, right look here, at Mexican. That. Yeah, and let that kind of brown up up top. That looks good too. I'm excited to try it all. Okay, come on, Kevin. Let's don't be stingy with the potatoes, potatoes. Oh, yeah, now. Yeah. Come on. Not, not You're making us That's wait. You right oh, there. no, sir. And no, I'll sir. Get over here for myself. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay, now while you plate yours, I'm going to start eating. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. I don't know what to try first. I'm scared. 
<laughs> Scared one might get jealous of the other. Meatloaf is fabulous. It mm -hmm. really is. Thank you. Okay. But those let's... cheesy potatoes, I'm gonna be honest, it's um it's a game changer right there. Let's get into these cheesy potatoes. It and changed just my see. life just now. I don't want <laughs> I can't, I can't even <laughs> get my cheesy potatoes to my mouth because I'm laughing too hard. <laughs> mm, those are really good, too. Excellent, Kevin. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for helping. Thank you both for being on the show today and for making these very excellent dishes. Wow, we you're appreciate welcome. it. Thanks for inviting us. We appreciate it. Thank you. If you'd like either of our recipes from today's show, be sure to visit www.murfreesborotn.gov slash cookingwithmfrd. And you can also catch past episodes on YouTube. So we hope you enjoyed the show that we had for you today. And we've got a little something else we'd like to show you about uh, Kevin Matichik. We mentioned his EMR class earlier. I think you'll really enjoy this next footage. Go! <laughs> I like Matichik, I'm always ready. What kind of push up is that? Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> Just break your knees if you're gonna do that bad shit! I mean, professor's gonna put this on there. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? Can't you do it? I mean, this ain't fire training, man. This is medical training. See, you don't, you don't have to worry about this stuff in medical training. <laughs> no. No, you don't have to yell at you in medical <laughs> training. People don't yell at you out of the field. Medical <laughs> training. Oh, <laughs> yelling at you, telling you to do things. <laughs> That's the ballet. Right? There you go. I can't do it from here. I gotta be in the back over this side. There you go. Get that mask on there right now, chick. Oh, She's not here. Uh, She's not uh, here. None of us are here I'm right not now. Here, my God, the worst You're by now. yourself. Why is this kid Why can't you do this on his face? Are you short of breath, man, chick? Do you need me to get I'm the oxygen? Really Why are you so short of breath? I'm really old. Get on your chest. Come on.